A bitter brawl is currently underway over the leadership of the Palestinian Authority. The aging Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is fighting hard to stay in power. He's facing off a concerted challenge by an old rival. Who is this mysterious yet powerful man? This is Mohammed Dalan, a man for all seasons, decoded. Palestinian leader Mohammed Dalan was jailed by the Israelis five times in the 1980s. While in prison, he learned to speak perfect Hebrew. This gave Dalan the ability to talk to his captors in their own language. Now, other Palestinian leaders who've spent time in Israeli jails like Marwan Barghouti also speak Hebrew. But unlike them, Dalan has been able to cultivate lifelong friendships with powerful Israeli figures such as Avigdor Lieberman. Despite jailing Dalan for minor offenses in the 1980s, the Israelis knew they were investing in a long-term prospect. This was recently brought up in a statement attributed to the US ambassador to Israel, who backed Mohammed Dalan as a possible replacement for Mahmoud Abbas. Ambassador Friedman later said he had been misquoted. Mohammed Dalan and Mahmoud Abbas were two of Yasser Arafat's closest advisors near the end of his life. While Mahmoud Abbas was hawkish on Israel, Dalan was seen as more accommodating. The rivalry between the two only intensified. Dalan has directed millions of Emirati dollars into Gaza, the West Bank and refugee camps in Jordan in a bid to enlarge his support base. At the same time, he's accused the Palestinian president of being a weak leader, allowing for his sons to benefit financially from his rule. On the other hand, Dalan is accused of stealing up to $300 million the United States sent the Palestinians to build a security force. He denies all accusations against him. In recent years, Dalan has become a firm friend of the United Arab Emirates, specifically the UAE's de facto ruler, Mohammed bin Zayed, whom he works with across a security-based portfolio. Turkey's government alleges Dalan acted as a go-between for the United Arab Emirates and the 2016 coup plotters loyal to US-based Fethullah Gulen via a Palestinian businessman based in America. Dalan is alleged to have transferred money to the plotters in Turkey in the weeks before the 2016 coup attempt. After the coup failed, he temporarily relocated to Egypt. But it's alleged Dalan continued spending UAE-linked cash. Reports suggest the UAE used $30 billion of Libya's frozen assets via Dalan to support warlord Haftar against the UN-backed government of national accord. There is growing international consensus that Mahmoud Abbas has overstayed his time as leader and that a new generation of Palestinians needs to take over. So how is this push for new leaders playing out in Palestinian politics? The friction came to the fore after Abbas rejected coronavirus protective gear sent by the UAE to be distributed by Tel Aviv to the Palestinians. The Palestinian Authority also arrested and detained several of Mohammed Dalan's supporters. And Dalan's faction within Fatah, the democratic reform current, rejected the Abraham Accords, which normalized ties between Israel, UAE and Bahrain. Is Mohammed Dalan a hired agent of chaos doing the bidding of his Emirati masters or is he a positive force of change to shake up the status quo in the Middle East? The United States clearly thinks the latter. A number of administrations have quoted Dalan as Palestine's new hope. But is this really what the Palestinians want? If you're from Gaza, the West Bank or beyond, tell me what you think. Write your comments and suggestions on TRT World's YouTube page. I'm on Twitter at Ali underscore Mustafa.